Welcome, Commodore. Allow me express my sincere gratitude for your heroic actions. In the short time that you have spent with us, you have proved your talent and daring beyond any possible doubt. As a mark of respect, I would like to entrust you with a most important and highly confidential diplomatic mission. As you already know, though the reigning Gorg clan signed a ceasefire agreement with our forces, the treaty did not prove as effective as we had hoped. The reigning clan refused to accept the responsibility for the skirmishes, citing the hostile activity of renegade battle clans. Between you and me, I suspect that these claims may be more than a little disingenuous. As internal conflict puts more and more pressure on him, the Gorg Emperor cannot afford the threat of an external enemy. An uncertain ceasefire simply will not do. He wants peace. Peace talks will be unpopular with the rebel clans, so they are going to take place under wraps. Commodore, it will be your responsibility to meet with the Imperial Envoy and ensure that the treaty gets signed. Your involvement is not just our decision. The Gorg leaders specifically requested that you be present. It seems you have earned their trust and respect. The location for the meeting is the Herla system. I suspect it is unfamiliar to you. It is unfamiliar to most people. That is rather the point. It is a secluded place with one known wormhole. It has no inhabited planets. You will not have any escorts this time. The Gorgs will also arrive with a single ship. As I have said, discretion is paramount. For once, firepower won't get center stage. Be very careful, and don't forget, in this mission, you are an ambassador for the entire human race. Looks like they really did come alone. I wonder what the catch is this time. I think the Gorgs are sincere in their calls for peace. We've had reports of severe internal battles breaking out across their homelands. They haven't got the resources for war on two fronts. Come on, Captain. Optimism is nice in the case of environment protectors, and it is even a delectable thing in the case of humanist leagues. But this is the rough reality. Pessimism is the foundation of survival. Commander Sweetwater, please disable our camouflage. Even pessimists can't stay hidden forever. Greetings to clan leader Zatuk, whose father is Movar, the Comet Spitter, whose father is Rakir, the Lash of a Thousand Barbs. I am honored by your presence. Greetings to Marcus from the Cromwell clan, whose father is Richard the Settler. We come in peace. Marcus, 
We dogs do not like wasting words on false pleasantries. We both know why we are here. We want to put an end to this war. Do you find anything objectionable in my words? Your words are clear and wise, Chief Zatuk. We have only to agree on the conditions. Very well. Our conditions are as follows. You may keep the system of the Rogue Ark Clan. Your battleships may no longer use the Theta Gate. In addition... Looks like you owe me a drink, Commodore. Gorg ships are closing on us. Chief Zatuk, what is the meaning of this? Is your word worth so little? Real cadaverous human! How dare you question my honor! The word of a Zordon is a bond! If I desired, I could crush you in an instant! I have no need for cowardly tricks. Commander Sweetwater, can you determine which clan these ships belong to? Warning. Their markings indicate that they are... Affirmative. ...affiliated with the Ragra clan. Chief Zatok, eight of the Ragra clan's vessels are approaching. If you had no foreknowledge of this, then I apologize for my previous words. I have been betrayed! Someone must have told them the location of this meeting. Well, if it's a battle they desire, they shall have it! War cry! Red alert! Chief Marcus, this is our battle. You stay out of this. Enemy, you as you wish. Commodore, the war cry cannot win alone. And what if we help out a little? If we take maximum advantage of our camouflage, we should be relatively safe. But I still rate the war cry's chances of survival at less than 5%. Peace with Zatok's no good to us if he's floating around the sector in pieces. Uh, Commodore, there is one other thing. Four ghost ships escorted us here in secret. They say they are more than happy to help us put this war to bed. They're prepared to recognize your seniority and follow any orders you have. Commodore, please look after them. This is a glorious day for the Ragra clan. See how the all-powerful Zatuk cowers without his hordes of underlings to protect him. Glorious day! What do the Rakras know of glory? You are worthless mongrel cowards! You are no more... an act of aggression. What do we have here? The Magatu blew up the two. It's Captain Mag, leveler of mountains. What's my b
Squadron destroyed. Affirmative. Squadron destroyed. Target ship is being Target device disabled. Target device disabled. Target device disabled. Target device disabled. Warning! Incoming enemy bombers! Enemy shield, enemy squadron destroyed. Aye aye sir! Aye aye sir! Yes, sir. is being evacuated. Yes, 
is being evacuated. Target ship is being evacuated. Understood. Enemy shield has collapsed. Defending our ship against hostile attackers. <laughs> Your human love of the honeyed words amuse me. You are a mighty adversary, but as an ally, you are mightier still. Zatok is a worthy clan leader. He faces his enemies with courage and his allies with great wisdom. 